You know, I'm really convinced now that there's something in the water in Phoenix. Something that changes a person from who he might have been to who he is now. Uh, I don't know if it, it might be even lead. <laughs> who has our uh, best interest in heart? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I'll live and learn soon, sooner or later. And uh, I'm wanting to make mistakes over and over, I, I got to admit, uh, because I look for uh, somebody uh, very rare in this world to be like I am. I know I ain't the only fool in the world. I couldn't be. But uh, sometimes people just don't give a shit. And, and it's not that you did something to them. And a lot of times you're so honest and uh, caring what happens to them. And it seems like the more that you do that, the more that they feel like they're superior over you and you're a sucker. And why should it be like that? When we come from similar places and went through similar things, Almost like somebody calling you and telling you that they're bleeding out. And um, they never called you before. They never made um, a statement like, like that that's so serious. And then you come up with a, um, a reason or excuse. Or attitude, and you say you live and you learn, funding your weird livelihood, caring more about you than they care about themselves. Ain't that a bitch? And then once they do talk to you, they got a fucking attitude because they feel, I guess, in their heart that they could have did something. Because that person bled out and died. And they just didn't have the time to, to go over that. It ain't my job. You should know better. It's really weird. <clears throat> so you can really, I see, never have a camaraderie with anybody here. And why is everybody trying to bump everybody's head instead of just being honest? I mean, what's so difficult about that? Even when you would not take a, you would not steal nothing from them. They have nothing to contempt for you for not doing so. They would probably have more respect for you if you did steal something from them, I guess. Because I'm confused. I don't really ask a lot of people for anything. Just for this reason. And I've never changed never not had a heart to help somebody because you're not going to make me like you but uh, that's just uh, that's just how it is but it tends to be that karma catches up with them and me on different things mine is still catching up with me from um, from years ago other people think they're just unlucky at the time or they just moving too fast. Whatever floats your boat. Sorry, I'm eating what I can to keep from starving. Oh, so we go on being the same way we are for the rest of our life because it is too late to change horses in the middle of the race. But something, sooner or later, will make them feel like I feel now. Something so serious to them where they feel like you, you could have just did a little to help them. They wouldn't have hurt you financially or 
physically or mentally, and you didn't do it. And they cannot wonder why or understand why. And it's from you thinking back on something that you said over and over, um, how you gave three times the last you had to help them and them saying, you live and you learn. And they know who I'm talking about too. But okay, so be it. I just, um, a lot of times, I'll deal with people like that for a while and I stop messing with them. I become a ghost. And they have so much of a void missing when I made their life easier. And then that's where, to their self, in silence, in the privacy of their own home, they feel like, damn, I should have treated them better. Because I even had a fool, or I had a, uh, somebody that treated me like I should be treated. Because people have been fucking over me for, for years. But see, they don't think that way until things are gone. You know how they say the grass is green on the other side? Oh, shit, sure. I've been doing this shit for years and getting fucked up here in Phoenix. Three years and a half, matter of fact. And so, uh, ain't no skin off my back. I ain't gonna die. Look, I'll go out there and uh, I'll get me some food or something. I'll get something if I have to go in stores that I spend thousands of dollars, like fries, and go and steal me some cheese or something. You can lock me up for that. You, you can do that. Or you can say nothing at all like you've been doing when you see that I'm, I'm hungry and I've been spending thousands in your store. They don't say nothing to me. I don't go in there and make it a habit. But, oh, I ain't going to starve. But why should I have to go to that point with the person that I'm talking about when it th threatens their livelihood? When they're treating me right, I, I treat them right. But they don't see it that way. You live and you learn. That's my video.